Hey, what's up guys? Today I'll show you how to make offbeat samples on beat. So basically, uh, you're gonna download your sample. Uh, for this, I took this one. And uh, basically it sounds a little offbeat with the piano, but for lo-fi it could sound good if you're going for that aesthetic, but usually you're not. So I just got this simple drum beat right here. very lo-fi and uh, here's the sample so you're just gonna drag it in uh, into your workspace double click it right click and click edit and it should pop up Edison and now you can use your middle mouse button your scroll wheel button to zoom in and out and move to the side so you're gonna be as close as you can to the beginning if the, if the part you want to sample is at the beginning, then that's pretty convenient. So for this one it is. So you're just gonna delete the, the starting. So this is where my sample starts. So you can see here it like starts early. Um, so we're gonna fix that after. So I just want my four bar loop. So it's probably gonna be like this. And once you got your four bar loop or eight bar loop selected, hold on to this button right here and just drag it into your workspace. And you can delete the original if you don't want to use any other parts. So here's the four bar loop. You can double click it. And uh, for mode, you can you need to put it on auto because we're gonna cut it up and stretch it. And it should always be at the same pitch the entire time. So we got that, and um, we can use a website to find the tempo. Okay, so obviously you don't want the tempo to be at 60, but I just did it uh, slowly because uh, there's not enough beats to really be accurate. So basically we're just gonna double it if it's too slow. So it's at 120 BPM. So now it's exactly four bars. You can see right here, it's not on the beat. So you can change your uh, the, the amount of bars that there are, or beats, uh, with this button. So I usually put it at one fourth. So it's still on beat, but we, re we want it to be on the, on the actual, like perfectly on the grid. So you're gonna take your razor tool and hold shift so it like it sticks onto the beat and uh, it, it does the entire thing. And you can hold alt if you wanna be really accurate. But we wanna put this right here over here. So cut it up, and drag it over. But now there's this empty space. So how do you fix that? So basically you you see this sample right here, you're gonna click here and click make unique. Uh, make sure this is on stretch and stretch it out to this, but the pitch won't change because we set it on auto earlier. And yeah, but now everything else is all offbeat. So you need, you just need to go through and every single uh, part that you want to be on the grid, you just need to do it manually. So there's no real, uh, automatic way to put this on beat. Yeah, so now everything's on beat. So that I was lucky with this sample because there was only four different, like, real impact uh, beats that impacted uh, the entire sample um, but as you saw in my Jar Jar Jr. one it took me way longer but I needed to put every single sound and drum to the beat and it was very tedious but um, you should get the hang of it if you know how to do it so you just stretch it out and cut it up 
and now you can put your drum beat on it and see what it sounds like. Yeah, so that's pretty much it for uh, sampling. So uh, leave your suggestions in the comments below for me to do. Um, I'm working on a how to make bones type beat. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching and I'll uh, see you next time. Thank you.